Hello friends, welcome to PL SQL Performance Tuning video series. This video is a continuation of previous sets of videos where we have already discussed about what is bulk binding and the types of bulk binding and its related concept. As a continuation of that, in this video, we are going to see a specific keyword called values of keyword. I would suggest to watch this specific video series in the same order for better understanding. As I told, whenever we are working on collection, it is very much important for us to understand two specific keywords that is one is indices of keyword and values of keyword. Indices of keyword I have covered in the previous video and in this video we are going to learn about what is the usage of values of keyword and in what scenario we need to use the values of keyword. To understand this better, I am just going to start with a very simple program. So in this program, first I have declared a nested type variable which can store a list of varchar to data type and then I have declared an associative array type. Then I have declared a variable for nested table and initialized with five values a, b, c, d and e in five position, five index positions. right? And then I have declared a variable for associative array type variable. In the associative variable or in the associative array type variable, I have initialized three index position and assigned like one, three and five as the values. Then I am just iterating through this collection and I am just trying to insert into a table. Basically what I am trying to do here is that by reading the values from associative array, I will pick the corresponding value from nested table. For example, when it is saying as one, I will pick the first value from nested table and insert into the table. When the second position is three, I will pick the next value that is C and insert into this table. Similarly, I will pick the fifth value from nested table variable that is E and I will insert into table. After completion of this program, ideally we should be able to see A, C, E got inserted into this table. From this example, we'll try to understand how to use the values of keyword. So here is the same program. So first let me truncate the table and select from the table. As expected, the table is empty right now. First let me execute this program as it is. Program is successfully completed. As expected, the table is populated with A, C and E. The reason is we are just iterating through this associative array and then corresponding value from nested table variable. So when it is saying one, we will pick A when it is the second indexed position is 3, I am picking C and the third indexed value is 5. So we are picking E and then we are just inserting into this table. Okay. Now in this program, I have used the for loop. Let me try to modify into a for all bulk insert operation. So let me modify as for all I in first to last. I am just going to insert from here. Right. Let me again truncate this table, right? Let me try to iterate this or let me try to execute this program. The program is executed. Now let me query from this table. Now what happens is I am iterating from the first value to the last value. So basically this for all will iterate through the index value, not the position index value like one, two, three like that. So since this I, I will return like one, two, three. It will basically pick like the corresponding value from the nested table variable like 1 for A and 2 for B and 3 for C. That is why it has inserted A, B, C. In fact, instead of this, suppose of this collection is not a continuous collection. And even if I try to execute this, let me truncate this table again. Let me try to re-execute this program again. Now let me execute. Even in this case, you can see that it has inserted A, B, C even though the associative array has only two values like one and five that is because it is basically iterating from the first to two last the first function will be replaced with one and the last function will be replaced with three so basically this for all will try to iterate from one to three irrespective of whether this associative array has one or two or three index position so instead of that i basically want to iterate through the index so what we can do we can just modify this program as i in indices indices of this in fact this is what i have explained in the previous video let me truncate this again let me re-execute this program now let me try to correct from this table now if you see basically this indices of keyword will iterate through the index position that is one and three 
in this case the second position is commented so it is just iterating through only one and three so the corresponding information from the nested table for will be read and inserted for example one and three is a and c that is what is inserted but actually our expectation is it should not go through this index instead we need the value corresponding to the value for example i need the value corresponding to one and i need the value corresponding to five so ideally it should insert a and e right now let me copy the same program and let me put it in another window okay now let me truncate this again now instead of indices i'm just going to make it as values and now let me execute this program program is completed let me query from the table right now you can see here i just did only one change in the first program it is indices of and in the second program it is values of what indices of will do is indices of will iterate over the available index position values of will iterate over the available values so this is the key learning here so in this case since we are iterating through one and five the value corresponding to one and the value corresponding to five will be read from this nested table variable and it will get inserted into this table that is why we are able to see a and e inserted into the table whereas in indices of it iterates through the available index that is one and three so the value corresponding to one and the value corresponding to three got inserted into this table just to reiterate the learning here indices of keyword will iterate through the available index position and the values of keyword will iterate through the available values of the collection so here is the program for our reference as i mentioned indices of keyword will iterate through the available index position whereas the values of keyword will iterate through the available values as i have highlighted here values of will iterate through the values indices of will iterate through the index that's the difference between two so whenever you are working on a collection it is very much important to understand what is a composite data type on all the types of collection so these eight videos will give you all the basic information necessary to go through and understand the collection the link of the playlist is given in the description if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video